So at some point during service on Sunday, the 11th of September 2022, I called all the children of House of David forward to the altar and I asked them a question because I knew that they're about to resume school. I asked them a question, who's going to pay your school fees? And they shouted, mommy's going to pay my school fees, daddy's going to pay my school fees, my parents are going to pay my school fees. And I looked at the parents and I said, did you hear? They said, yes. I said, the words of Numbers chapter 14, verse 28 to them. I said, as they have said, in the ears of God today, so is it established concerning you in the name of Jesus. And I said to the parents, and I'm saying to you right now, in Jesus' name, that you will not strain to pay your children's school fees. I pray for you because the Bible says in the book of Psalm 127, verse 3, it says, children are the heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. I therefore decree that God, who does not do things in half measure, who is not a God of abandoned projects, he has given you those children, in Jesus' name, the monies and the resources to train them are released to you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will not lack what to use as tuition fees. You will not lack what to use as school fees in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for you today. The Bible says also uh, concerning Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that when after three years they came to write their exams as written, as issued to them by the Babylonian government, that they were found to be ten times better than their colleagues. Therefore, I decree that your children from now are ten times better than their mates and their colleagues, their peers, their contemporaries in the name of the Lord Jesus. I decree that their intellect is open. The hand of God rests upon their brain rest upon their intellect to, to be able to understand, assimilate and understand and dish out knowledge when they ought to, in the right proportions and in the way that they ought to, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your children are distinguished wherever they find themselves. When their mates are flying, they will be soaring in the name of the Lord Jesus. I decree concerning you that your labors over your children shall not be in vain in the name of the Lord Jesus. All the sleepless nights, all the prayers, all the teachings shall not go in vain in Jesus' name. But you know the beautiful thing, Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 13 says, your children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. I pray for you today, the words of that scripture, that Isaiah, as he has spoken by the Spirit of God, your children shall be taught of the Lord. God will teach your children by himself and their peace shall be great in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will not bury your children. You will not weep over your children. You will not run hell skelter over your children. They are kept and protected by God in the name of the Lord Jesus. They were given to you by God and God keeps and protects them. He causes them to succeed and prosper in all their endeavors in the name of the Lord Jesus. They shall be mighty in the land. They shall speak with the enemy at the gates in the name of the Lord Jesus. I decree concerning the, your children and concerning you that no evil, no plague, no accidents, no calamity will come near their dwelling in the name of the Lord Jesus. They will not fall sick. They will not be kidnapped. They will not die. No bad thing will happen. The only things that you'll be hearing concerning your children will be congratulations, congratulations, and congratulations. Receive favor right now. Receive all the monies that you need right now and all the help that you need right now to be the parents that you are in the name of of the Lord Jesus. These blessings and many more I rest upon you today in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.